Martha's my very first main in Smash Ultimate, but I was always told that tippers were inconsistent and that Martha was just a bad character. Tippers aren't hard to hit though, and Martha's a phenomenal character with some elbow grease. I'll be showing some crucial steps that'll make Martha tippers easier than ever to hit, and I have a special guest, Agent Spider, coming in to explain optimal movement and game sense to secure stocks faster than ever. If you don't understand your buttons, then it can be harder to hit tippers. So let's break down each type of attack and the tippers that follow. First things first, I have to explain what moves are good in certain situations. Understanding these moves will aid in hitting tippers and your overall game sense while playing the character. Let's start with your tipper range. The red line displayed on the screen displays the range in which you want to be spaced at all times. While keeping this invisible line in your head, you should consistently be able to space out your options to get tippers. This spacing method is called the red line method, and after training so long, spacing will only be natural. Sour spots do have priority over tippers, but it will not matter too much when you space and time your attacks properly. Even in a fast game like Ultimate, there's many ways for Mark to consistently land tippers through stray hits or setups. Rising aerials are one aspect of Marth that can thrive in certain situations. Marth is a character who's great at juggling, thrives against opponents offstage because of his large hitboxes, and is amazing at anti-airing his opponent. Marth is just such a good character to punish bad or predictable options. Marth can tipper any opposing option, and if spaced correctly with the red line method, then you'll get the tipper. Depending on the situation, a tipper could outright kill your opponent. Getting a tipper with a rising arrow isn't that hard though. If your opponent is far, then drift in, and if they are close, then drift away. Marth has excellent air mobility and can stuff any option when reacted to. This air mobility also makes it extremely easy to pressure opponent's shields. When pressuring shields, you should never do it rising aerial, but steady falling aerial. This doesn't mean you're fast falling, it just means that you're throwing out an aerial as close to the ground as possible and as far away. Mars air mobility allows for micro adjustments so that you can space to the red line, and this micro spacing will allow you to be super safe. Mars aerials are all minus six or less on shield as long as you are not down airing. Hitting the tipper hitbox on shield also makes your aerials even safer. Up air and nair on shield while max based are minus three on shield, and these airs are really good for pressuring opponents as well as starting combos. The only way Marth can be punished is if your opponent parries the attack, and this is where you mix up your play with tomahawk landings and empty movement. Tomahawk tilts are also really good on Marth and commonly lead into advantageous positions. Make sure you tippered forward smash that subscribe button. Man, I feel cringe for saying that. Down tilt has many follow-ups depending on the opponent's option. Spacing down tilt can condition the opponent to shield, which can get you a grab or any other suitable follow-up. And forward tilt is also a very safe option while spaced that will allow you to either control center stage or prepare for an edge guard opportunity. Forward tilt is one of your strongest options while ledge trapping and pivot canceling and walking allows you to easily microspace these tilts and understanding the range and red line will really help when positioning Marth at ledge. Lastly, up tilt is extremely useful for setting your opponent up for juggling situations. It's easy to hit the tipper when anti-airing or when properly spaced with the red line technique, but it is not safe on shield like down tilt or forward tilt. Marth has other really good grounded options such as up special out of shield and dancing blade. Dancing blade is an amazing kill option and somewhat hard to hit consistently. Timing dancing blade can be hard for people to hit, but it's not all that bad. To actually hit the tipper, I recommend either reacting or practicing the tempo at which you can hit. Understand the speed at which you can let the move swing. If you throw a completely spaced side special, then you probably won't connect the last hit. So if you do try to reset or react to an option, side special isn't the only way to claim stocks though. Agent Spider has the best advice when it comes to closing out stocks. Spider Sense is the ability to perform a highly calculated read on your opponent's movement hurtbox shifting, and option select that will help guarantee a Marth tipper. If you are aware of your opponent's next option, you can adjust your spacing and timing so that your opponent will be the one drifting or shifting into your tipper. Notice how this sonic spin dashes into my back air. I swung my back air early knowing this sonic would spin dash towards me. Here is another example. I know this Captain Falcon will jump in disadvantage and lightly perform an aerial. After punishing Falcon's knee with a back air out of shield, I approach the ledge by walking to better react to Falcon's next move. He does indeed jump, 
so I time and space my forward tilt to catch him mid-air with the tipper hitbox. Notice how regardless of my opponent having a sudden hurtbox shift, it did not matter due to my overall spacing and timing. The tipper leads to a huge KO off stage, and now my lead is extended greatly. Sour spots aren't always bad to hit, sometimes they can lead into combos that will kill your opponent. My best example would be the up air ladders that Marth can perform. Everything talked in the video pairs well with sour spots, so make sure you have an understanding of everything we discussed this far. But as talked about before, sour spots commonly combo with Marth's tippers as long as you can either get creative or understand the crucial part of the character. I put this section in here because tippers are good, but sour hits have more potential to combo into some of Marth's most deadly options, and that's something that every Marth player needs to understand, especially if you're going to pick him up as a main or secondary. Once again, my first main was Marth, and I was consistently told that I was trolling for not picking Lucina, and that playing Marth was just stupid. I played the game for four years now, and I can beat all the players who used to tell me that. Never give up on Marth and switch to Lucina unless you actually want to. Marth is a fun character who just takes a lot of practice. Never give up on playing a character you wish to play, and if you ever need any help, I recommend hopping over to my Discord server. There's so many players there that can help you improve. I also recommend staying in two of the channel. If you made it this far, I recommend you watch the video displayed on the screen. YouTube thinks that you liked it, and I think I'd have to agree. I can't wait to see you there. Keep on smashing and hopefully hitting tippers.